Okay, now if you're a Samsung Galaxy phone user, check this out. Let's go to the settings menu here. Now, if I want to search a specific settings here, I can tap on search button as we all do. And here, let's say I want to search for mode. Let me just search for mode here. Here, the search results are appearing as per the menu order. As you can see, we've got mode under Samsung keyboard and then camera setting has got mode here, camera mode, and then modes and routines, modes and routines we have here, and easy mode under display. So all these are as per menu order. Now this search is not really accurate. We may not get the desired result here. We may have to keep searching for something that we are looking for. Now instead, what if we can make this more accurate? Now check this out. I'll go to the settings, I'll search, and I'll again search for mode. Now you can see we've got some accurate results right here. We've got mode on the top. I can tap on this to directly go to Samsung Keyboard's mode. I've got modes and routines here, model name here, easy mode, camera mode, general management, maintenance mode. It is slightly easier and better to search in this way rather than searching something as per the menu order. Now I will tell you how to get this version of the search results in a bit. Now let's say I want to add a specific shortcut for a specific setting. Is that possible? Yes, we can add any settings on the home screen as a shortcut. Now let's say I want easy mode as shortcut. I can just press and hold on this. We've got a pop-up here which says add to home screen. I can just tap on this add button to add that shortcut on the home screen. Let's say I want to add voice styles. I can add that as the shortcut on the home screen. Let's say I want photo assist to be added on the home screen. I can add that as well. Likewise, we can add any specific settings from your settings menu right on your home screen for a quick access. As you can see, the ones I have added are sitting right over here. You can see we have got the interpreter settings, uh, the voice styles I can access directly. We have got the display settings where it will directly take me to easy mode here. Then we have got the photo assist button here, which will take me to the uh, photo assist toggle right there. Now this is also possible on your settings menu. Now how is this possible? How am I able to do this? To do this, we need a good lock module called Registar. I'm sure many of the pro users would have already got this. Uh, all you need to do is go to good lock application and then open Registar module. By the way, we have got a brand new update for Registar module now. We've got the latest version here. Let me show you that. Let me tap on what's new here. You can see the latest version is 1.0.67. It's all about some fixes, fixed Gemini app launch issue on flip cover screen, fixed back tap function error in power saving mode, applied back tap stability patch. So we've got some new update here. Let me just update this application and I'll go ahead and open it and show you what this application offers and why this is a very important app for for the Samsung Galaxy phone users. Let's open Registar. Now here we get a few options. Customize your settings home. Now using this, we will be able to reorder our menu and the group settings. Let me tap on menu order and group settings. You can see we have got all these options here. All the menu options are available here. If you want to remove some of the settings from your settings menu, you can do that. You can keep it simple and short depending on your requirement. Or let's say if you want something important to be accessible right there on top, let's say uh, modes and routines to be on top, you can just press and hold on it and bring it to the top here. Uh, if you want display settings to be on top, you can do that as well. Let me just bring it to the top over here and I will uh, bring the notification option to the top over here. Uh, this is how you can reorder them when you save it. And then when I go to the settings menu, you can see, let me just go back here. Right there on top, we have got display and notifications and then comes my account details and rest of the menu options are here. This is how we can customize and reorder the settings options on the settings menu using register application. Now let's go ahead and take a look at another very very useful feature that's called settings change history. Now let me tap on this here. You can see recently whatever changes I have made on the settings menu are all available right over here. I've changed the adaptive color tone, I've changed, I have uh, turned off the adaptive brightness, I've turned off the mobile data, dark mode settings on, all these recently changed settings are all available right here. So just in case if you have changed something and if you don't remember what you changed on your phone and if the phone is behaving differently than usual, then you can go ahead and open register application, open the settings change history, and you will be able to see what have you changed in the recent past. And then comes the search options. Now this is where I was showing you the accurate search results. We have got display policy option here. When you tap on this, you got menu order accuracy. By default, menu order is available on One UI and that is not the best way to search the options. Select accuracy option. 
that is then you'll be able to get that accurate search results. And if you want to uh, disable tags here, you can tag suggestions, you can disable that as well. Then we have got settings extensions, back tap action and side key press and hold action. Now these are very, very useful features you can make use of. Samsung is the best when it comes to offering these kind of features. Let me tap on back tap action. Let me turn this on. Now here you can see we got double tap and triple tap option. Let me tap on double tap. Now when you double tap on the back of the screen, you will be able to execute some of the functions or let's say open some applications. You can see we've got a take and share screenshot option. When you double tap on the back, you'll be able to take a screenshot and share it. You can customize that as well. If you want to just take the screenshot and save it, you can select basic. If you want the sharing menu to be available, then you can select share. Then we've got access your Google voice assistant. If you don't want to use the voice assistant uh, by pressing and holding the side key, then you can just remove this and uh, select access your Google voice assistant for back tap action. You can double tap and access your Google voice assistant. Then if you're on a specific application, you can start pop-up window by just double tapping on it. And then you can open the notification panel by selecting show notifications, show recent applications, back button, double tap to go back. And then we have got a couple of more options. Then comes the open application. You can open any of the application on your phone using a double tap action. Similar actions are available for triple tap as well. And then we also have some optimization options. We have got something called gates here. When we enable power saving mode, the back tap action will be paused when you enable power saving mode. And if it is on low battery mode, you can pause the back tap action, which means the back tap action may consume some amount of battery. So you can turn them on when your phone is on low battery mode or on power saving mode. And then of course we have the sensitivity. So the good luck team is not only offering the features, they're also offering us some options to optimize them on the device. Then we also have side key press and hold action. We get some additional actions here. You'll be able to execute these actions using the side key here. All you need to do is just press and hold on the side key to execute the selected actions here. We've got turn on or off flashlight, turn on or off auto rotate, uh, turn on or off live caption, mute or unmute all volumes. You can have a combination of uh, double tap back action, triple tap back action and side key press and hold action and set different actions for these three options. Now this is a brilliant module available on GoodLog. If you're a Galaxy phone user and if you have an access to the GoodLog modules, then do go ahead and install Registar. You can change the way your settings look. You can customize your search results. You can make it more accurate. You can add any shortcuts from your settings menu onto the home screen. You can customize the double tap and triple tap action. So there are so many things you can do using this module. Go ahead and check it out and let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. And let me tell you that we are running an offer on our Volvo's application. There is a 50% discount on the lifetime membership. If you go to the profile here, and tap on upgrade, uh, tap on premium, then you will get an option here, lifetime membership, which was 1200 rupees and now it's available at 600 rupees. And in all other countries also, you have got 50% discount and this is the right time for you guys to buy this application, a pro version of this application. There are some amazing collections available. We'll be adding more and more collections very, very soon. And there are some beautiful free and uh, pro wallpapers, uh, some amazing categories to go ahead and check it out. That's all I want to share with you guys. I hope you've already subscribed to the channel. Hope you've already hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the like button. That motivates me to keep coming up with many more contents for you guys. And yeah, don't forget to rate this application on Play Store. Give it a five star. I would really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.